and welcome to this review, short re review of the OnePlus One. Um, just to prove that this is the actual OnePlus One, I'm going to go into about the phone, where you can see here that the model number is 1, right there, it runs Android 4.0.2, you can see the kernel, the baseband, you can see everything right here, good. Um, the screen, first of all, is clear and crisp, and uh, actually the 401 um, pixels per inch is pretty much all I need. I can't, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think that a much clearer screen is needed, uh, ever, so that's okay. And 4K is, of course, cool and everything like that, but it's not really necessary. Um, secondly, I'm talk a bit about the camera. Well, let's just find a picture that I like. Uh, it's a pretty decent snapper. If I just turn the phone a bit, there we go. It's a pretty decent snapper, as you can see. I took just some some pictures here. This this is actually an HDR picture to get the, the, the light rays, as you see there. Um, the front-facing camera, I haven't used that much. Uh, let's see here. I do believe I might have. Yeah, there is one picture. Yeah, there we go. That's actually of my cousin. That's not me. Um, the snapper is uh, fast. It focuses fast. It's really nice. Um, so that's pretty cool. The power of the phone, like um, like benchmark power and stuff like that, is also very, very, very nice. Um, I had the, the G2 before. That's my little nephew right there. I had the G2 before. And I took some screenshots of this... There we are. Took a couple of screenshots of the um, of the benchmarks I've done with this one. This is thirty eight thousand nine two two, which is pretty nice. You can see the uh, one M eight is about uh, thirty five and a half, so that is really really good. Uh, I did a test of my speeds. So I have seventy milliseconds of ping on four G. I have forty four megabytes per second uh, of download, and right here I have a three point nine seven megabyte of upload. Um, Usually it's a bit higher than that, but that's okay, uh, because I really don't upload that much stuff, so cool. The battery of the phone is the next part. Um, the first couple of days were a bit disappointing, and you can see here I'm at 76%. If I go into settings here, uh, and into battery here, you can see that I've been on the phone for 7 hours and 6 minutes. Um, I played a bit of, um, of Pokemon, as you can see on John GBA Lite. The screen has been on for 1 hour and 12 minutes. Um, John GBA Lite actually does drag out a lot, a, a, like really a lot of battery, so that's really hungry. Uh, Dungeon Hunter as well, I haven't played that a lot because the phone starts just sapping away at energy, so I don't really want to do that. Uh, so the battery is actually okay now. Um, it charges in like 2 hours and then it lasts me more than a full day. So that's cool, that's all I need. Um, Software wise, this phone is well, it's, it's, it's the most customizable phone I've ever had. Um, if you go into themes right here, these themes in here, the, the themes that are in the showcase, they're of course, they're of course um, cool enough and all like that. But if you're not into these, you can actually go into the Play Store and find some more. Um, there are a lot of these slots that are filled out by these JBX themes. I think there are five or six of those. They, then there's a bit of hollow. There's like three or four hollow themes. Uh, the Flash theme, Dark UI, Black Cat. I actually thought about getting that, but I'm not sure. I need to ask a couple of guys how good it is. Um, the theme store is, of course, really, really cool. This theme that I am using is called Crimson. Uh, what's it called? Crimson something. Yeah. It's Crimson something, I don't know, let's go have a look. Oh, crimson, what? Theme packs. Crimson Cobalt. Cobalt, I don't know. Uh, Cyanogen Mod 11S is super fast and really doesn't take up much of my RAM. Um, so the phone actually have has uh, the power left, just the power itself, which, which of course is also really, really nice. Um, the customization thing in this is also very, very, very good. Uh, not just the themes, but you can choose from, well, if you want the fonts from one theme and the, uh, the icons from another theme and the slide down bar from another theme and 
it's it's actually really really nice and i like fidgeting with it but i always keep coming back to the crimson cobalt theme because i love the clock i love the the google um the chrome logo here looks super awesome the phone uh, and the, the text messaging apps um the, the settings just the icons of this is just very much up my alley i like that um hardware wise this phone is a big chunk of phone uh, you can say that it's 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 actually rather large uh, it's a 5.5 inch screen but there are some bezeling to the top and to the bottom a little bit on the sides but that that's not really much uh, the bottom here, as you can see on the screen, I use my hard black keys uh, because I want to free up that realty on the on the on the screen. Um, also, the materials of the phone is very premium. Um, the the backing, the sandstone backing, as you can hear, I'm scratching on it right there. Yeah, you can hear me scratching on it right there. The backing, the the sandstone backing is very 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 nice i i like it and uh, i like it a lot and when the phone is not too hot it actually feels a lot like stone so that is very cool um most of the front of the screen is covered by the gorilla glass 3 which is well it's gorilla glass 3 it's very nice i like it um all the way down to the uh the the frame around the phone um the metallic frame i think it's magnesium and the buttons on the side um they're clicky and they sound like that and it's very very nice they're small they're not protruding too much they're protruding like a millimeter and a half i think maybe maybe a little bit less actually um but you can find them um since they're a bit edged so you can find them they're not softened out too much the lock screen of the phone as you can see looks like this um i like it I wish I could make the color blue uh, a bit darker or maybe even change the color to something else. I would actually like just to have a deep purple or maybe a black color right here, which would make the phone seem a bit less cartoony, I think. That would be nice. But I have read somewhere that Cyanogen Mod is actually doing that. So that is very cool. Um, the hardware keys on the bottom right here. They are responsive, they're not too big, so you can actually uh, tap between them, uh, which means you can hold the phone uh, in more ways than you would if you couldn't tap between them, which I find nice. Um, the speakers of the phone is another uh, great detail about it. It's a stereo speaker, oh well, maybe nearly a stereo speaker. It's two speakers playing the exact same thing, whereas stereo is one speaker playing the right channel and one speaker playing the left channel, but that's not the case here. This is just two speakers to give you maybe a fuller uh, audio picture of, of what you're listening to. Mostly I use my Marshalls, uh, my headset, um, but if I'm watching a video or something like that, uh, maybe playing some games, I use uh, the speaker on the phone, and you want that to be a nice speaker, or else, uh, well, it's going to take away some of the uh, some of the value of the of the video you're watching if it's not nice audio. Um, anyways guys, this was my short review. I've had this unit for about a week. Uh, as a daily driver, I'd say it's, um, it's all I hoped that it would be, and a little bit more, actually. It's more stable than I thought, the screen is crisper than I thought, and I have no yellow banding, which is, of course, lucky. Um, anyway, yeah, I think that's it, actually. Um, hit me up if there's any questions, if you have anything you want to know, you just let me know. And you can have a very, very nice day from here on. Bye.